Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. It's, um, it's always a pleasure to re reunite with you guys. And um, I want to thank you for hearing me out and entertaining my videos. Uh, before we get started, I want to say and recognize our Lord and Savior for all he does and for all he do for the world, the universe, and existence as it is. Um, trusting in Him is not only the only way, but it's the right way. Um, there's so much to be explained, His benevolence, but we don't have the comprehension to do so. And that makes it difficult for us to understand the scope of what's required from day to day. With that said, Let's praise and glorify his existence and thank him for all he does while we are conscious and unconscious, aware, unaware. The things he do physical, <laughs> physical, the things he does physically and spiritually. Let's thank him and glorify him, but because without him, we're non existence. So I love all of you and I thank you for partaking in this video. And as the title declared, uh, this is that video I promised you guys. I told you I was going to get the 2024 Refresh uh, Model 3 Long Range. Uh, I currently have um, the 2021 Performance. Um, I'm keeping that for another project. But this project is to validate FSD. Now, if I transferred the FSD from the 2021 to the 2024, being that the 2024 is a a um, hardware 4 is hardware 4 capable and so we'll see through comparison how well that video does relative to um, relative to the software performance but and before we get into those videos I wanted to just do a, a point to point comparison both externally and internally for these two cars uh, and just to identify differences on more comprehensive close-up state. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'll show you both cars externally. We're gonna go point to point externally, point to point in internally. And um, we're not gonna get into a lot of the software difference. We all know that this has the stockless scenario which we'll go through, but we're not gonna get into a whole bunch of the software differences. Um, um, it's, it's too meticulous, right? Um, there's two different type of cars, right? Hardware differences define software differences. So we're not gonna get into a whole bunch of that, but we'll run through it, and just so you can get an overview of that. But the point to point and the physical and the software, all right? So let's do this and um, get you guys back to your businesses, stop watching YouTube. All right, man, here we go. All right, here we got? We got the 2021 performance. Model 3. She has uh, 70,000 miles on her. Yes, we use these cars. So it's for, there's a defect, and I want Tesla, hope someone from Tesla sees this defect occurred, and unfortunately I didn't catch it. And it's weird, it looked like it's the PPF protection area, and this is high impact area, uh, but it's weird there's no protection there but the paint is chipping and none of my other cars have ever had this much as other people i talked to about their cars so it was something on this car or a group of cars back when i bought this car and i missed it so it's for me to fix tesla wants forty five hundred dollars to fix it yeah not happening tesla if you're painting the whole car i would consider it <laughs> all right so just a quick walk around on the 2021 and then we'll do the point to point and that way you guys can see what's what. All right, pretty good condition. Minus that paint defect, which I'm gonna get fixed. I already got a quote on it. Difference between Tesla fixing it and a uh, professional body shop fixing it is almost $3,000. Well, a little bit less, but it's like, it's significantly cheaper. It's almost $3,000 less. Uh, no, make it $2,800 less, okay? All right, and here's the brand spanking new 2024 
long range Model 3. All right, as you can see, got the sport wheels on this bad boy. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not a big aero wheel type person, but um, I kind of thought this did some good with the stealth gray, new stealth gray color, by the way. And let me pull back right quick. I don't know if you guys can see that the sun isn't as bright right now, it's going down, but you can see the contrast between the previous gray and the stealth gray. Stealth gray is a lot more dark, darker in contrast. I like the Stealth Grey. I like both of them, but I prefer the Stealth Grey if I had to choose from the beginning if it was av available. All right, so quick walk around. Show you the wheel on the front already. All in the changes, but we'll do those point to point. Won't talk it through. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, so it's not apple to apples because that is the performance and this is the long range. However, the performance for the, the re-engineered Model 3 hasn't been released yet. So this is the best we can do, okay? All right, so starting front bumper, we just work our way down the clockwise. You see the design difference there, contrasting the bumper, the duck bill in which a lot of people refer to the the older body style. <laughs> uh, open contrast. Yeah, it's, it's much sharper, right? All right, headlights. Much slim, much sleek, much seductive. At the time, this was good. So I'm not going to sit here in front and just say, oh, blah, 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 call it negative stuff. But it, it still is an attractive car, considering where electric cars were when the Model 3 came into play. There was nothing better looking than this car for the size at that time. Uh, hood design. There's a, a, a more aggressive uh, lip on the back end of this um, hood to allow for airflow over the top of the car versus this guy, which is a lot flatter, going right into the windshield rather than deflecting air upward. And you can see it, there's a more bolster, more, more substance towards the center of the hood on this guy coming towards it. I think you can see it. Subtle, but it's there. All right, so we got headlights, we got hood. Um, I mean, we're out of headlights uh, we got bumper we got headlights and we got the hood we see those difference it's a little more square off here i think i just noticed that too a little more wider than it is on this guy which seems to be a little more narrow on the inside because i guess the headlight limitation um okay uh we're not going to compare wheels because a whole different wheel design, but these are the 19-inch the versus, well, let me just give you guys specs. Where are we? So, 235, 40s, 19, all right, versus the performance, which is 20-inch. 235s, 35, 20s, 92 Yankee. All right. Like I said, I want you guys to have specifics. All right. Along this side, let's look at that red optics in there versus the old style. Everything is close. A little more countersink on the 2024 versus protruding, no red optics. I don't know the technical on those optics, but they're meant for hardware for is what this thing, much, much, much bigger lens considering the size of it overall. 
All right. Uh, rear view. Like I said, we're going to do every aspect of this. Don't see a lot of differences there. So let me see how it stands out from the car. Ah, it might look like it's closer into the car. I'll let you guys decide than this guy. This guy looks like it stands out a little farther to you. I mean, I don't have no tape measure to measure for you, calipers or anything of sort, but optically, visually, it looks like it stands out more. There's more space between the headlight and the A-frame of the car versus this one. But let me know what you think. Uh, on this side of the, the mirror, Now we already did FSD on the 2021, that's those videos I uploaded not too long ago, so we'll do FSD. I'll try to repeat some of the same um, routes, uh, Kissimmee, downtown Lake Eola, but not all of them going to be that way, so just so you know, but we'll see performance differences. Okay, 2024 camera suite. I don't know if you guys can see in there. There's three cameras and the rain sensor. I don't know how much of that you can see. Of course, there's a glare. Let's see if I can help that out. No. Come away from it some. Oh man, it's horrible. But three cameras versus the 2021. Again, rain sensor, it's a slightly designed layout. The cameras in that one look way bigger. Yeah, I don't know what to do to get this glare off. I'll try to come away. Hopefully you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, the cameras, I'll go back to the 2024. And what I see, I see bigger cameras. I mean, I can, yeah, I see bigger cameras. Even a little pattern design, you can see it on the camera, those, they, they almost like, the feel of view is depicted in the glass versus this one. Oh, no, that's not the feel of view. That's um, probably the, um, what do you call it? The, the defroster. It's just a different design, different layout. Okay. Uh, side door. Of course, there's a little bit of design makeup there especially when it comes to the glass we'll, we'll look at the glass once we open the door to go inside but same door handle same scenario none of that has changed all right the pillar camera if you guys can see that see that glare oh, i mean see the red <sighs> glow much bigger camera versus smaller camera. Come on, Val, where are you? There you go. Smaller camera. And even its angle seem to be different and even the opening, the, 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 the spacing around the block seem to be a different design, different shape as well versus this guy. I wonder if I can see it that way. Notice I was able to see the cameras when I came at that angle. Okay. I'm sure there's a ton of, ton of videos out there depicting that if I don't capture something perfectly. All right. So camera different. Rare. Design on the... I mean, the red design on the uh, passenger rear glass seems to be similar. Yes, this car is not tinted yet, but it will be. Uh, a little quarter glass on the back. All right. Back. Quarter panel. This car is stated to be a little bit wider. Um, a little bit longer. Might not be wider, but definitely longer. But uh, there's more trunk space. Not a whole bunch, but what's being reported. Of course... It's a different rear end, different design. I am going to open the trunk now so we don't have to come back out once we go inside. We'll just go inside to inside. 
Or maybe not. I'll just come around from the driver's side through the passenger, hit the trunk at the same time. All right. Carbon fiber spoiler in the performance, whereas it's no spoiler, but it seems to be a more aggressive trunk lid. Looks like it has a spoiler naturally without the carbon fiber spoiler. Additionally, I like how that, that new design looks. It stands out. And especially with the functional um, lights down to the bottom in the um, diffuser. As you can see, this one has one, but it's not as aggressive as this one. And the performance that's supposed to be released is even more aggressive, which is cool. I'm excited about that as well. All right. It's the rear of both cars. All right, and what's on this side is going to be identical to what's on the opposite side. So we're not going to do that. We did side for side. We saw those differences. We'll, um, we'll transition to the interior of the car, which will define more changes as we go through it. All right. Yeah, it's a different looking car, don't it? As, as um, this Tesla, uh, the, the chief designer for Tesla said, cut off all the baby fat, which is interesting. <laughs> all right, let's pop in the 2024 and kind of define those differences there. Come on, there we go. Dual pane uh, glass. And get the focus here. I think we got it there in the beginning. Versus 2021, which is dual pane on the front, but as you know, not on the rear. All right. Door panel, 2024. We know the differences here. There's um, uh, ambient lighting. There's uh, Alta Terra, what is it? Alta Terra, Alta Terra with a uh, fiber along there. Um, these are still the same. The door release is much bigger. And then there's carpeting in the door well, right? Versus the 2020. One, uh, something else I'll show, does just have the Alta Terra, you know, fiber, <laughs> whatever it is, correct me in the, in the, um, no, um, no carpeting in the door well or the door pocket. And it's soft, but it's, it's um it's not as soft as this and there's definitely no ambient lighting as you can see. One of the other differences is this additional support in that door. That's supposed to be for side impacts. Wait, that's the 2021. Does not have this. All right. Also, 17 speakers in the 2024. I don't remember how much is in the, the 2021, but there's one here in the door. There's one here versus just one up here. And there's no, there's no additional one in the door. All right. To the meat of it. Whole different interior design, seats, as we just went through the door 
dash, steering wheel, center console. Let's just go through the 2024 first. Well, first of all, before I sit down, then we'll go through the 2021. So I'm not in and out of the car for the front in this position. So as you can see, bolster on the seats are much more uh, aggressive. It's ventilated seats now, as you can see. Ventilated back end seat, steering wheel, stockless. Let's just pop in here, sorry. <coughs> stockless, we have turn signals, we have headlights, and this is just a navigation sign for up, down, left, right, center capability for functions. As you guys know, this allows for media. And if you press and hold, you can assign a, a quick, um, you can assign a, a additional function to a press and hold function, uh, action on that. As you know, they change the center on the steering wheel. It's no longer the T, Tesla T, and it is a functional horn. All right, and as you can see here, we have the backup camera uh, press, I mean button, sorry. We have um, windshield washer fluid and um, momentary wipe as well as, uh, well, momentary wipe activates the on-screen menu, which allows you to uh, select auto or whatever desired intermittent speed you want. And then, of course, we have the voice button now no longer in the scroll wheel. It's actually a dedicated button. The scroll wheel, as you can see, now next to it is the speed um, indicator or... Uh, yeah, speed indicator, which indicates autopilot, FSD, uh, traffic aware, cruise control. All that is operated from here. Now you can press it once, twice, whatever you select in the software for the appropriate uh, software suite you have, as well as you have the means to uh, increase, decrease. Uh, following distance, if you have FSD, you have to select uh, what is it? Assertive, uh, normal, or assertive. Uh, why am I guessing at this? We can just quickly look. Uh, pilot, chill, average, and assertive. There we go. Simple. Don't know the answer? Research it. <laughs> I'll find it. Okay, that's enough on the steering wheel, and we'll we'll do that comparison for the uh, the 2021. Um, as you can see, now it's a, a fabric material instead of the wood grain thing that they had there in the 2020 which we'll observe and you can see mines are starting to crack on that and i'll show you that shortly and then the screen which for me they say has less bezel and we can closely look at that in 2021 however i don't see a lot of that i mean it's, it's minuscule in nature right obviously uh dual chargers now the the key card actually works here versus down here where it previously worked on the the older models um, you know, behind this is a 24, let me see if I can get in there. Yep. Um, 20, 12 volt, sorry guys, 12 volt accessory port. And there is no USB C's in here. Weird. I thought there was one at least, but there's none. And of course you guys know the cup holders now have retainers and it can be hidden from sight if you have no need for it and you want a cleaner look such as this boom much cleaner right as you see back here there is one usb-c right there and then in here i don't know we can get down in it there's nothing what's just interesting a lot of people don't know you think it i'm sorry this is in the front hold on Okay, so it's in the front, I'll show you. It looks like it stops right here where the accessory, or where the, um, the 12 volt accessory, but it actually extends beyond that. There's another ledge right here and it extends way back up in here, you see. So this is where my hand maxes out, and then this is where the 12 volt accessory is. So additional uh, storage in there, just wanna point that out. All right, of course, rear view mirror, 
basically still the same. The camera, inside camera, this thing is significantly bigger. And when I look at the difference between this camera and the one in the 2021, you can see a lot more. You can, it's very little you can hide from uh, the software at this point. All right, so you guys already know that uh, much like the Model S, Model S, <laughs> this, uh, this car also have um, uh, drive by screen, right? Gear selection is on the screen, but you have an override. Uh, I guess I should just show you the gear selection. See, gear selection on the screen, and there it is. Reverse, um, I have the auto decision or uh, auto selection enabled. So far, it's been working. However, if you don't, if you're old school or you just don't want to mess with that, you have the option to push up here and activate the hidden buttons, which is supposed to be a, a, a fallback to the screen not functioning, but it actually can be utilized instead of using the screen if you choose to not be swiping, which most people, it's, it's easier to swipe, which will be right here versus having to reach up. I thought it's kind of cool to shift up there as well, but you never know, to each of their own. Okay, what else? Uh, nothing else here. Same glass, the difference is, it's here. We have now a speaker array, a mic array, uh, yeah, mic array here to collect your voice from both passenger and driver's seat, which allows for you to have a better audio experience in the car while driving. Even though this car is significantly quieter than the model or the 2021, I guess many other models. And that's fair to the 2021 because the 2021 has those 20 inch low profile um, wheels on. So they, they generate more noise and it's a rougher ride versus the long range, which we have as well. And um, so, but this car, I hit potholes with it today and it's just a, a very, it's just a dud boom, versus the, uh, more, not treble, but you know, more loud sound is, is more of a, a, a dampened sound. I mean, the suspension is amazing. The ride feel comfortable. I almost thought it was luxury type stuff versus coming from the 2021 to this guy. But anyway, um, well, so now all these in, internal lights are now um, just touch capac uh, capacitant touch versus a, a button, which I, I like, it's so cool. I mean, it's the future. This is the kind of stuff I like about uh, progression, technology progression. So, all right, let's jump over to the 2021 and let's do the interior. I mean, the front before we go on to the, let's do the front before we go on to the, the back seat. All right, so again, we went through the door. See, so no speaker, no, um, in the door pocket, there's no um, fabric. Alta, Alta, Cara, Alta Terra, I guess is what it's, it's called. Forgive me, guys, if I'm getting it wrong. But, I mean, night and day, right? We see a drastic, now I'll do a quick com uh, contrast, right? So I'll just show you this. I'll swap right back to the 2024 and show you that, that drastic contrast of what the interior of this car looks like versus what it was. Significant, right? All right, now we can cut through it and get to the nitty gritty. So as you can see, starting with the seat, no ventilated seats, just let the seat heated, of course. Um, all the controls are system. I didn't show you that in the 2024, let me show you right quick. You know, uh, lumbar support, up, down, left, right, multiple multiple directions. And I'll just show you what it looks like. A little bit more stylish, has a, a bezel on those. Um, kind of, I don't know if it's aluminum or just a gray bezel, but a little bit more stylish, but basically the same. All right. Of course, it's a performance, so it has the aluminum brush pedals. Um, wood grain now i'll show you see if you can see the cracking that's happening from sun even though my car's a garage all of them it still happens from being outside you know what i mean and it's 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 gonna be hard to avoid that right so 
So it is what it is. I mean, it's replaceable, so it's not a, a, a major issue. But steering wheel configuration, stock, uh, has stocks versus no stocks on the 2024, which we already covered. All right, let's sit down in here. All right, here we go. Screen. So I guess I do see a little bit of thinness in the bezel. And I'll, I'll do a direct comparison for you guys right now on that. So look at that bezel. Get a good stare at it. And let's jump right back <coughs> to the 2024. Yep, it is thinner. I can see it. And there's a, a good reference for that. All right. Back in the 2021. So we got the bezel reference. A little bit again, just show you. So it is thinner. So technically you do have a bigger screen. Um, we know that if we press on this, we don't have no slides because it's what it is. Um, the stock controls, let me get that. Stock control, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and autopilot. See, there's the same symbol, which is now in the, the stock over there. These are just navigating wheels, uh, scroll wheels. And then, of course, windshield wiper signal, all that good stuff. All right, as we discussed, this is just hazard up here. And these are physical buttons, not um, soft buttons like they're on the on the other side on the 2024 capacitant touch buttons. I didn't show you this in the 2024, but it's identical. These these vanity mirrors are identical. That doesn't change on that. Um, so you can see. The key card has to be placed right here for 2021 or the older um, Model 3s versus the what I told you. The key card goes here on the charging pad. And also the charging pad is bigger. Um, I'm using my phone right now, but my phone just barely fits in there. There's a, um, a Samsung S23 and the, the 2024 the, the keypad, I mean, sorry, keypad, the, the phone actually has like a half an inch of space when it's in the, when it's in the cradle. So it's a much bigger charging pad, and I guess they accommodate in the complaints of some of the phones with big cases, which is a conflict, right? You have to take your phone out of your case just to have it charged. So Tesla did accommodate that for those of you who had that problem in the future, in the past, rather, okay? Um, yep, I gotta take this out, leave that, of course, PlayStation 5 controller for the games, and then Starbucks, <laughs> frappe, baby, all right, as you can see, two USB-Cs here, where there's none in the 2024, However, here, there's none in, in, in the armrest, but there's a 24-volt accessory port here, whereas in the 2024, the 24-volt accessory port is down here, and no USB-C, and they went from two USB-Cs to one in the 2024. Okay. What am I missing? Okay, so you see how, how much smaller that camera is? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you, there it is. I think you can see it now. It was that much bigger, it went into focus on that. Uh, maybe you can see, but I just can't see because of the glare on my screen. But anyway, it's there and it's smaller. I'll show you right now. 2024, much bigger. It actually came into focus too. <laughs> okay. Since we're over here, let's just run through. So we know on this screen, 
this is a 2024 so we hit car just to kind of see what's different and what's not different i'll just show you the screen and i'll hit each section one sorry let me change my hand uh hit each section controls you guys can go through see this is a long range boom on the pilot you can see full self driving blah 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 sorry locks <sighs> lights display Okay, just pause and look at these things as you need. Um, as you can see, you only have 82 miles on it. I have to take it for a, t a joy ride, of course. Uh, navigation, safety. I don't know if the 2021 have this feature, but I'll check when we go over there. And that's on the safety, okay? Um, I can see all the typical stuff. And this is where you can look at your camera preview. So you can check every single camera on the car via this if you didn't know. And this is on the service, oops, right there. Okay, software, full self-driving, oops. Also drive and package included. And the version that's in there is 12.3.4. And upgrades. No upgrades. Because this has the full self driving, it has everything the car can offer. All right. And let's show you the drawer where you can see how this is laid out versus what it is over there. All right, let's jump to the 2021. All right, 2021. So you see controls, pedal, steering. This is, has sport because it's a performance. It has track mode, uh, charging, autopilot. Now it's beta because I transferred it over to 2024. So. It's just where the beta steering that comes standard with all tes Teslas. All right, locks. Uh. This could also have the home link i didn't get it on that car i didn't even think about it but i got my Q, so i'll just activate my Q. uh lights and the 2024 we would have seen that it had the light ambient light and the controls for that that's to be expected um display Okay, trips, 70,000. We'll do another video when it makes 100,000. Um, tell you what all I had to do pertaining to this car and 100,000 miles. For my car, other people have done this, but for my car, and this car gets driver a lot, as you can see, 2021, 20, 70,000. All right, safety. Okay, service, and what we were gonna look at in here, we had, what did we have on the 2004? Okay, I was wrong. It's um, in safety, and I, I wasn't sure if, I just thought about it, if 911, automatic 911 call was available. 
and it is service same typical stuff let me show you guys this camera camera preview you can preview the internal camera i should show you guys that so this is the 2021 look how much you can see with the internal camera right take a good look nothing being changed of course the what you see up there cutting off is the rear view mirror and that's set up for my seating arrangement however I'll, I'll jump to the 2024 now and show you the difference in the view all right and this is a 2024 right now look you don't even see the camera you don't even see the camera being blocked by the rear view mirror whereas in the 2021 it does so you see more of me you see my legs almost right down to the steering wheel. This is the far end of, this is the side of the steering wheel closest to the door. So, I mean, that fish eye, it has a lot of uh, uh, feel of you. I mean, you really, you to hide something, this is my left hand. This is a steering wheel, as you can see right here. I mean, you can't be here on the phone, can't even be over here. Uh, let's see, how far can you go before you're out of the view? So right here, so if you go past this part, you can be out of view, but it'll see where your eyes is if you're not looking straight out the windshield. So it's like seeing a lot more of the cabin, which is good for safety and for all the other um, scenarios that it's there for, obviously. All right, let's jump back. And just one more look, see? can't see my legs because the camera blocks a lot of that. I'm not camera, rear view mirror blocks a lot of that. So I can be right here on my legs, messing with my phone while driving down the road. Some of you probably want that, but you know, technically by law, you're not supposed to have your phone while you're driving or be on your phone while you're driving. Not, this is not even a Tesla thing. This is a, a, a um, <laughs> this is public law, right? Driving law. Anyway, Let's continue before this video gets ridiculously long. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, and that's the last of that, right? Let's close that, and then software, and then, like I said, I transferred that out, so now it's just autopilot package included, and everything else is the same. V11, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and we said, last thing we did went into a drawer, and you can see the drawer design and configuration. All right, cool, let's jump to the back. All right, so we're going to do just the one side and we jump to the trunk and do front and then we're done. All right, so as you can see, single pane here, not dual pane. Uh, nothing fancy with the door, you know what it is. Alcatara there, at least I think it is, and no in, in t um, pocket door carpeting. All right. We all seen this a million times. That's the pocket here, very tight fit in pocket. Uh, and there's two USB C's and a rear vent, upper and lower, because there's vents underneath the, each seat as well. All right, and the seats. And as you know, there's a cup holder here for the rear passengers if you don't have a middle person here. And this goes up for comfort. Oh, did you even see that? Okay, there we go. For a taller person sitting in this seat. Now release. Put this back. All right. So we got a good view of the 2021 rear position. All right. Let's jump to the 2024. All right. So, so you dual pane. Uh, we're not going to zoom in, are we? I mean, listen, man, we're not gonna focus, are we? Focus, there we go. So dual pane, focus, there we go. All right, and it works. It's significant, let's see if I can show you that. Let's see, one, two. And it, it works really well, okay? So you can see the door difference, speaker in the door, like the front, uh, ambient light, bigger release button, um, carpet in the door pocket. Same latching mechanism is back here as it is in the front. And as you can see, whereas in the 2024, this is all carpeted. 
not hard plastic, which works really well for scuffs as well as sound dampening. As you can see, the seat does have a packet here too, but now it's extendable, much more, you can fit more in there. Let me give you a better look at that. Elastic straps. And just so you know, the standard range does not come with floor mats. It has to be the long range and above. I learned that today. And as you can see, there's a rear vent here as well that's controllable. Controllable via the screen. See? And it, you can hear it, the actuators moving. So you place that air wherever you want it. Whereas it's fixed on, I mean, it's mechanical on the 2024, 2023, sorry about that. You have all the controls. Now, I'm not going to go through all these because you guys know. Okay, I lie. I'll go through. So you have the first one. Uh, let's see, fan speed. Uh, we are on that, and then we can adjust it here. Okay, and then this is seat. And as you guys know, you can move the seat forward and backward from, from back here. Okay, um, and then you can turn on the heated seats. There's no ventilation on these seats, even though they look ventilated, it's just heated. Okay, and the middle seat, unlike the 2021, is not heated, however it is on the middle, on the 2021. Okay, then you have your music. I got a feeling, we're not gonna play that, because you know that's trouble. <laughs> um, and then we have our entertainment, our movie section. You know the deal there. Then we have our games. We know the deal there. With this one, I can connect that PlayStation controller back here or up front, however you want. Um, and then settings. New device, Bluetooth device, the whole new... Uh, oh, you have a clear button, a clean button here as well. And that's that. I think so. Yep. And then we can adjust the music volume here. All right. Let's call this a wrap. Just real quick. C capacitor lights back here as well. Okay. And coat hanger. All right. Cool. All right. Is everyone okay with this? Moving on. All right. Um, stand by. So we'll look at, since we're here at the uh, 2024, we'll look at the trunk now. And do the comparison of the trunk. And then we move to the front and we're done. First thing I want to show you is dual actuators. Yes, versus single actuator on the 20. And I, I had to, that's one of the things I had to get replaced on my 2021 because it got bent and it's because of how you close and and how you handle it or if it hits something you know the ordeal so dual actuators and then instead of plastic we have carpet and material sound sound, um, sound dampening again even more adds to the quietness of the car all right in the car got a front license plate got a wheel well uh, storage compartment there on the left Actually, sorry guys, Put that down there. And then we got another storage compartment here on the right. And this trunk space is supposed to be bigger, according to the specs. All right, you'll tell me what you think when we go into the 2021. Let me see what's what. As you can see, there's no lights here because the lights are attached to the, the trunk. And as you can see, the same red eye, very much bigger rear view camera attached. However, when this is up, if you had the hazard on, that transfer down to the thin clear lens there. And these red lights are functional at night lights. And the massive diffuser, or much bigger diffuser. All right, did we cover everything on the trunk? I think we did. Let's move to the 2021. All right, here we are, the 2021. It opens a lot slower. We'll do that test. Sorry, I should have cleaned that up. Let's start up. As you can see, the light stays here, so the flashes and, and, and brake lights and all that stuff stays attached here, and then only a, posh, a portion goes up. And let's take a look at that light. 
can see a light sorry the uh, camera you can see it's um it's not the red glow and it's a smaller camera all right as you can see there's a, a manual strut here and then there's a power strut so this strut is just under tension to assist but it's not powered yes cobalt and there's a storage well on the left side as you can see no storage well on the right side and this is the scope of the trunk space i'll double back and let you guys take a, another gander and let's just actually activate the trunk up and down on the 2021 I'm alone, also I'll, I'll, I'll do a race, but I'm sure it would, okay? We heard the sound, and um, approximately how long it took. You can look at the timestamp, and different sound, and a software close. All right, let's open it up. Came up right away, no hesitation, all right? Now, let's open up this bad boy. Hesitation, much louder, and it works, right? It's what it was. I'm just showing that there's a difference between the two. And if you notice, the opening on that guy looks bigger. Let me show you a diagonal contrast so you can kind of see that. It is bigger. You can see it. It's pushed farther up and it's a lot wider. Much bigger, like a big mount bass. All right, cool. All right, we're at the front, 2021. As you can see, I got a mat in there, but windshield, wa wa windshield washer fluid uh, reservoir is up towards the windshield. And the overall design and shape of the frunk. All right, 2024, no windshield washer fluid reservoir up towards the windshield, just ventilation. The overall shape of the frunk, and they look compatible. This one looks slightly deeper. I'll let you guys decide. And the windshield washer reservoir fluid is down towards the bumper. I'll jump across. Actually, let me give you a diagonal view of both of them. And we'll transition over there so you can get a refresher on what that one looks like. Change the view. I don't know if you can see that one too well from this perspective. All right. Guys, that is going to basically conclude the comparison between a 2021 Tesla Model 3 performance and the 2024 Tesla Model 3 long range. Okay, so here we are, they're closed up and we'll call it end of video. So just one more walk past the boat cars. Actually just had some neighbors ask me if I was selling the cars, which I'm not. Like I said, the 2021 is gonna be on a project and um, and the 2024 is for my use. I'm just going to enjoy it. That's why I didn't wait for the long, I mean, the performance, because right now there's going to be a mileage hit on that. As nice as that performance is, is, is turning out to be, 
it's going to be a mileage rate. I mean, to drive around town and just look really sharp and sporty and be very fast, that's one thing. But for practical use, I want to go across the country again in this car. This car been across the country, um, but this one hasn't, so I want to actually do it in a, in a more comfortable setting because the suspension on the, the performance models is tuned. And so it's, I, I, I firmly, now that I've ridden in this car, I've driven in this car, it's, um, it's a much better ride on the 2024. And this guy is meant for what it's meant for, right? It's a tuned suspension and it's, it's tuned for performance, not for comfort. The long range isn't too shabby in the suspension, but it's definitely tuned for uh, more comfort than the performance would offer. I'm sure that's going to be the same scenario with the 2024 um, performance once it's released. Uh, I definitely know it's wider wheels in the back and the whole nine yards. And again, it's supposed to have some additional features, a whole different, a different front bumper. It has uh, ventilation for the brakes. It also has different seating. So all these things are going to be changed on that. So it's going to be an interesting look once it comes out. But um, yeah, I wanted something more for enjoying life. I, I got my thrills, 3.1 seconds, 0 to 60 on this guy. This guy isn't too shabby at 4.2, and I think there's a uh, acceleration package or boost that you can put on these cars, which I don't know if I'm going to do because I only do it to entertain people and not because I track these cars. All right, well, like I said, I'll look you in your eyes as I say this. Hey, guys, I, I really appreciate you guys, and I thank you guys for for spending this time with me and listening to this comparison between the cars. Like I said, I, I'm definitely going to make a, um, well, I'll make many FSD videos on the 2024 and see how that hardware for uh, camera suit stands up to the, uh, the hardware three in the 2021 performance. And I'll be reporting it because it'll be live on video with you guys, or recorded on video with you guys. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it, com how it compares. Um, but again, I love you guys, and I thank you for your time that you've spent with me to, to do this comparison. And I'll have many more videos coming out of interesting things pertaining to the FSD aspect of it. So on that note, I'm going to thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to glorify God, of course. You know I have to. I glorify him and I thank him for all that he's given and all he's taken. For all that he do in the known and the unknown, the visible and the invisible. I thank him for every single one of you guys. I pray that none is lost in the end but God will will be done. So we glorify him and we thank him and we praise his holy name because only by his name, only by his will are all things possible. So on that note, God bless each and every one of you guys. Love you with all my heart and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.